Why do some Bangladeshis harbor anti-India sentiments? This question often arises in discussions of South Asian geopolitics. We'll be venturing into the reasons behind these sentiments, tracing their origins chronologically. From border killings and political interference to water distribution issues and offensive remarks, we'll examine the factors that have fueled these feelings over the years. Cricket controversies also come into play, adding another layer to this complex issue. Let's delve into history to understand the roots of these sentiments. The earliest and one of the most critical reasons is border killings. Over a span of 20 years from 2000 to 2020, at least 1,236 Bangladeshis were tragically killed, with over 1,145 individuals seriously injured by Indian border forces. Even in the recent past, between 2021 and 2022, the grim tally of casualties rose by another 23 lives lost. These incidents, more often than not, have been the cause of much tension and discord between the two neighboring nations. They have led to a significant deterioration of bilateral relations, instilling a strong sense of resentment and hostility within the Bangladeshi population towards India. This hostility is not just a fleeting emotion, but has gradually solidified over the years, deeply ingrained in the collective consciousness of the people. The border killings have left a deep scar on the psyche of Bangladesh, fueling anti-India sentiments. Moving forward in time we encounter the issue of political interference. A significant point of contention stems from perceived Indian interference in Bangladesh's domestic politics, particularly since 2008. This period has seen the rise of the Awami League government which some critics argue has been unduly supported by India. This support they claim has resulted in a troubling undermining of democratic processes, most notably the right to vote for the citizens of Bangladesh. The perception among many is that this external influence has tipped the scales in favor of the Awami League, thereby depriving Bangladeshi citizens of their rightful say in the political process. As you can imagine this has caused a considerable amount of resentment and frustration. It's a complex issue with deep-seated emotions on both sides. This perceived interference has further strained the relationship between the two nations. The issues of water distribution and offensive remarks by Indian politicians are the more recent triggers. A significant point of contention lies in the water distribution between Bangladesh and India. Every monsoon season the dams of India burst at the seams with excess water. This overflow is discharged into rivers that flow into Bangladesh, causing severe flooding. These floods displace millions of Bangladeshis from their homes and cause extensive damage to crops. Conversely during the winter season these rivers run dry due to a lack of water release from Indian dams. This scarcity leaves farmers in a lurch, as water for growing crops becomes scarcely available. This cyclical pattern of flood and drought has become a bone of contention in the bilateral relations of these neighboring countries. Simultaneously the offensive remarks made by Indian politicians have not helped the situation. A noteworthy instance is when Amit Shah, a high-ranking Indian official, referred to Bangladeshis as termites. This remark, seen as derogatory and disrespectful, has understandably incited outrage among the Bangladeshi populace. It's not just about one person or one comment. Such instances of disparaging remarks by political figures have been a recurring theme, further straining the relations between the two nations. These issues have added fuel to the fire, intensifying the anti-India sentiments in Bangladesh. To summarize, the reasons for anti-India sentiments among some Bangladeshis are multifaceted and deep-rooted. We've discussed the tragic border killings, where over a thousand Bangladeshis were killed between the years 2000 and 2020, and 23 more in the span of a single year between 2021 and 2022. We've also touched on the issue of political interference with claims of India supporting the Awami League government and allegedly depriving Bangladeshi citizens of their right to vote. The problems of water distribution were also brought to light, where excessive water pressure from India's dams during monsoon season and lack of water during winter pose significant challenges. Lastly, we delved into the offensive remarks made by Indian politicians, which only add fuel to the fire. These complex issues, along with others like cricket controversies and export restrictions, form the basis of these sentiments. Understanding these reasons is crucial for fostering better relations between these two neighboring nations in the future.